Hello YouTube, it is now officially, as you can see here, 5.20 in the a.m. My wife left yesterday at 7.30 in the morning to work and did not arrive till now. And once got to ask, you know, what does a self-respecting, so-called self-respecting woman do past 2 a.m. or not come home in over 24 hours to her husband and her children. Now, before you guys say anything about me winding the clocks or anything like that, let's go see what the TV says. The TV also says the time is officially 5.20 a.m. Saturday. Last she was seen was Sunday or actually Friday at 7 in the morning. Children were up all night wondering where their mother was or is. Uh, their mother showed no concern to return their text messages or to return my text messages in regards to uh, her whereabouts, her safety. Um, her concern was more, I'm going to go have fun with my friends and cheat on my husband openly and not care two cents about my children. Unfortunately, the courts, uh, the laws in the state of Texas um, give women all the benefit of the doubt, leaving the men with no rights whatsoever in regards of, of you know, custody or any um, rights to property. Um, it's time we wake up people and, and Make sure that, you know, everything is 50-50. Everything is, you know, not just to the women's favor, but also the men. Because there's good men out there that work hard for their families and try to do the best they can. And some people take advantage of these laws and advantage of people that, you know, are hardworking, want to be there for their families and provide. So, it's very sad and heartbreaking to... to to watch the children um, ask where their mother is at and you have no answers and the mother doesn't care the mother doesn't care about being a mother or a wife her concerns is you know what I'm gonna go openly cheat on my husband I'm openly gonna leave my kids behind because I really have fun have some drinks with friends hang around with my lovers, whatever. But the priority is not the children. Or marriage, the sanctity of marriage. It is sad, but we live in that situation. This is the world we live in now. It's very heartbreaking and nerve wracking. <sighs> She's arriving now. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. 5.20 a.m. It's 5.20 a.m. Nobody's seen you in 24 hours. You see that you too? She locked the door. Yep. She's drunk, hungover, locking the door. Has not been seen in 24 hours. Does not care about her children. Does not care about her husband. Openly cheats on his husband. But this is what the courts is granting rights to children are asleep
that cat happens to be a better mother to those children than their biological mother. Once again, as you can see here, 5.22 in the AM. Five thirty, give or take. You know, none of these clocks have been changed, but you understand what time it is. And there is no uh, foul play here. The only foul play done is by, of course, Miss Janet Dijon not being here for her children, not being here for the husband. Uh, out drinking, cheating on her husband, um, not being here for the children. So, go ahead, state of Texas, give full custody to this woman while I have to pay child custody and I do not get to see my children. Go ahead, you do that. And this is the type of things that you're giving women the ability to do by taking advantage of the laws, taking advantage of their husbands and of their children. Go ahead, because all that money that goes into the custody will go into their lifestyle and not the children. I'm done here.